Panorama, Legal Weapon, Monday at 8.30 on BBC One. This is BBC News, I'm Sean Lay. The headlines at midday. The former United Nations Secretary-General Kofi Annan has died aged 80 in a hospital in Switzerland after a short illness. Southern India faces its worst monsoon rains in a century as floods have triggered landslides and left at least 200 people dead. India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi has met senior officials to try to help coordinate the relief effort as forecasters predict more heavy rain. Here, ministers plan a new plastics tax for items such as takeaway boxes and coffee cups after the public backed tough action in record numbers. We hope that with the right intelligent responses and tax incentives that we at the Treasury can design in the weeks ahead, we can make a real difference that will last for many years to come. Also coming up this hour, the funeral is taking place in Genoa at this lunch. Also coming up this hour, the funeral is taking place in Genoa at this lunchtime for some of the people killed in the motorway bridge collapse. And coming up at 12:30, the Click Team reminisce about a summer of sport in half an hour's time here on BBC News. Hello, good afternoon. The former UN Secretary General Kofi Annan has died today. He was 80. He'd held the post of Secretary General of the United Nations for 10 years until the end of December 2006. Mr Annan was the first sub-Saharan African to hold the position. He later served as the UN's Special Envoy for Syria, leading unsuccessful efforts to try to find a peaceful solution to the civil war. Mr Annan was, won, was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize jointly with the UN in 2001 for helping to 